having a manicure, guys. Oh my goodness. This is worth the $30 right here. What? What is up, guys? Where have you been today? Is a great day to be alive. We're here in San Diego again. That's right, we've done the San Diego Zoo, the San Diego, San Diego Safari Park. Look, I haven't said San Francisco yet. And today, we're doing the San Diego SeaWorld, SeaWorld San Diego, which I'm pretty bummed about. If you're new here, my name is Ben Chase and I've been sleeping in my car, traveling the country, mostly just in San Diego so far, and just checking out the tours. So if you like travel vlogs, if you like going to theme parks and checking them out <clears throat> and hearing reviews, hit that subscribe button. If not, Hit the subscribe button anyway. Also, tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, today, again, we're going to SeaWorld. I've been to SeaWorld Orlando. Actually, in fifth grade, I spent the night. It was our fifth grade field trip. We spent the night at SeaWorld. The boys uh, slept in the wild Arctic section next to beluga whales, and the girls slept with the manatees. I think the boys had a better deal, honestly. I am pumped for today, and if you love SeaWorld, just hit the like button right now. I've never been to SeaWorld San Diego, and today, we're gonna check it out together. Here we go. This one doesn't say the price, but over there it says general parking is $30, $30. Could have just took an Uber. Well, we got some clothes rides today. Journey to Atlantis, which is sad because I love Journey to Atlantis in Orlando. We're gonna do some shows today. Just gotta get in, we gotta park. I'm gonna handle my money. Uh, $10 is your change, just follow the cones all the way down to the right. Thank you. Yep. So my ticket technically to get in was $42, $43, and my parking was $30, so $70 to get in. It's steep, but it's zero. You gotta do it, right? You have to. Uber or Lyft taxi. I probably could've took an Uber, or a Lyft. It would've been cheaper, but. You pay to play. You play to, you play, pay to play the game. Or you, what do you, you play to win the game? Play to win the game. I think I'm gonna change into something a little more SeaWorld. I think this is a little better. Let's go. Okay, so parking, $30. That's steep. But like I said yesterday, Disney parking is about $30, $35, so that makes sense. We're at SeaWorld, Orlando, not San Diego. It just reopened because COVID. You need a reservation, so I got my little, uh, Reservation going on my phone and my Ghost City Pass, which again made it like $42 to come. So let's get inside already. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are yourself? Good, good. Good, good. Come on in. Thank you, thank you. Ghost City Pass does it again. All right, so their map is actually on, on on their app. Well, not on their app, on a website, which is different than San Diego Zoo and probably better for the environment. So we approve of that. So have you ever seen those uh, little, not cruises, but the excursions where you, you get your fingers cleaned? Let's see. Let's see if they'll come up. How, many, how much that skin do I have? Do they want to hug me? They're considering it. Oh, there we go. I'm having a manicure, guys. Oh my goodness. This is worth the $30 right here. What? All right, so it's it's 108. They have some shows starting at 1:45 and 2 o'clock. I think we'll do the Sea Lion show at 2 o'clock. Just get in here, go to the restroom, and I come in the parks around noon usually because I have stuff to do in the mornings. But we're out here having a good time. It's not very busy. It's actually quieter than SeaWorld Orlando, so we're here for it. Let's go find a, a ride or something, and also go to the bathroom. My favorite dessert is funnel cake with ice cream. It's the best. So I'm looking at the shows, and this one o'clock dolphin show is absolutely packed. So we have to plan on getting uh, to the shows a little early. All right, so let's see what the schedule was. 
Well, let's see what we got. It's about 120 right now. All right, so at two o'clock, we want to do the Sea Lion Show, Sea Lions Live, and then I'm thinking three o'clock, Orca Encounter, and then five o'clock, Dolphins, which will lead us into Give Us Time, seven o'clock, Oceans Electric, or uh, Electric Oceans, and then Ignite Fireworks, and in between, we'll do the rides. I think that's a good solid plan for the day. Let's get at it. So yeah, this is convenient. They have these little QR codes to download the the maps. All right, so at two o'clock, we're gonna go to the Sea Lion Otter Amphitheater, which is that way. That way? No, that way. All right, it's uh, someone just messaged me. 143. We're going to the sea lines. Let's go. 147. Two o'clock show. Let's get it. Luckily, I got here early. So we just got finished with the Sea Lion Show and it's about 2.20 right now. We're gonna go check out the sharks and then the killer whales, the orcas. The sea Lion Show was dope, honestly. It was refreshing to see a new show, SNL themed, a little bit, little bits and pieces. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go check out the sharks and then a little shamu time. We got that three o'clock show. Two forty three. Let's see how we're I have like reserved seating here. Alright, so I just did the Shamu Orca experience, killer whales, or whatever, however you want to call it. It was great. <clears throat> you saw where I was. I got a little wet, like I dried in maybe a minute and a half. It's a beautiful day out. Uh, and I'm really, really tempted to get a SeaWorld hat. There's one I saw at the stand that was $25. Oh, this music very loud. And then there was one I saw on somebody's head that was very clean, so I assume that you can get it here. I'm pretty pumped right now. I wanted to do that Sky Flyer thing, but it's two minutes long and six dollars. Not gonna be able to do it. Not gonna be able to do it. But we're having a great time. I'm gonna take a lap. Uh, so far, I'd say that SeaWorld is a success, even though not a lot of things are open. I want to do Manta, but it's two dollars to rent a uh, locker for two hours, and I'll do that at some point. But we only have 50 minutes till the show, the five o'clock show. I've been walking around, and the wait earlier was almost an hour, so I didn't want to miss 
I'm here for the shows and I love rides, so I, I'll get to it. It's a long day. My phone's probably gonna die, but we're probably having a good time. So uh, let's take a lap. So growing up, Journey to Lancers was one of my favorite rides. So I was really hoping to go on it, but you know, maintenance happens and better be safe than sorry. The kids are at least getting a little wet on it, and I assume it'll be open at some point. Check this ride out right here. I think that's the electric eel. Definitely gonna go on that at some point. It's uh, 431, we're just trying to get out here and uh, check out the whole park. See, I would, I would do it if they had an Orlando Magic flag. Oh well, I guess uh, my skills can wait for the next time. I bet this looks really pretty at night. Hopefully we'll see it. The sun sets at like eight o'clock here. This is real. Got a little fake grass action going on right outside the wild Arctic, which was one of my childhood. I think this is probably the first simulator I ever went on. It's either this. Oh, it's definitely this. I was gonna say it's either this or Spider-Man, but I'm pretty sure. Wild Arctic. We're gonna go on that after I go to the penguin encounter. Right. Dolphin show was amazing, as always. Wild Arctic after penguin encounter. We're almost done with the whole park. Oh snap, this is the hat I want. Yeah, there's a $25. What do you guys think? It was this one or that one actually? Maybe over there too, yeah. Here are the other options. Ooh, that one's nice too. Ooh, this one's like harder. Ooh, which one do I want? I think I'm gonna get this one. Hello. Just the hat. I shouldn't buy it, but I'm going to. Do you have an annual pass? No, I do not. $26.93. Sounds good. So I just went through the ride, and they don't have the Wild Arctic ride anymore. It's fine, but got my upgraded hat. Pretty sick. It's funny, I've never been in Orlando. I don't even have a SeaWorld hat from Orlando. But I had to pull the trigger on this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. So I just confirmed. Kraken rehab, they're taking the floor out. I'm assuming they're gonna do what they did in Orlando, maybe attempt to make it a virtual roller coaster. Atlantis is getting rehabbed. That's not Atlantis, that's Atlantis. And then, uh, Wild Arctic is closed. It is what it is. We're gonna do uh, Electric Eel, which has a really long way because it's a, sh I think it's only a one part ride. And then we'll do Manta and then watch the fireworks. I didn't get a refund on accident. I was getting a, trying to get a locker. And I pressed back and it just gave me a receipt for a $2 uh, refund. I'm trying to do the roller coasters. 
so we're just waiting for that. It's uh, 621. I'm trying to do the roller coasters and then get ready for the fireworks. Just making it rain. Jesus. All right. I got two hours. Let's do it. So that took 15 minutes on and off, and I even talked to someone at the exit. Let's go to the other one. Alright, 727, so we did it in just over an hour. Also, I don't know if you can see this, but their lockers, Orlando, Florida, West Sand Lake. That's where I'm from. So they get their lockers from Orlando, we love that. <laughs> 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 it's dusk, but it's golden hour, and we didn't go to the Turtle Reef. So, uh, there's nobody here. Dude, this hat is so fly. What do you guys think of this hat? Anyways, I'm gonna go check out the turtles. Am I not turtle enough for the Turtle Club? Sun's going down. Look, it's golden hour. I got a little lime margarita with a candy straw, strawberry candy straw. I'm gonna go watch the little electric ocean with vibes and get out of here. Well, I'm gonna watch the fireworks, obviously. Cheers. Okay, so Electric Ocean was dope. They did an encore. Look at this, this is beautiful. Uh, it's almost time for the fireworks. I just gotta find a spot and not get run over by the parade. Not the parade. Mantis right there. This is great, beautiful day. I can't get over this though. Look at that. Oh, we did it. To say we closed. <coughs> SeaWorld is an understatement. My phone is literally at 1% battery. Uh, overall review, it grew on me a lot after my uh, one adult beverage. I think SeaWorld San Diego is, it's worth $43. I don't know if it's worth the parking and all that, but it's it's pretty great, honestly. The little nighttime fest up, the, the fireworks are short, which, you know, they got animals and stuff. But I had way too much fun in the little light tunnel thing. And if you want to look at photos, they're on my Instagram. Uh, overall, I think SeaWorld Orlando, because it has all of its rides, at least open, it's probably a better, but it's definitely more expensive than whatever the price is here. I don't even know. Uh, so with that, I'll just call it a night. As always, chase fun, chase adventure, and never stop chasing your dreams. I'll see you in the next one. I don't really know what the next one is. It may be not Sperry's Farm. Um, but man, it's been a journey so far and I'm pretty hyped for what comes next. Thank you for the 58 of you that are subscribed. And uh, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.